Hey guys, John here. I was kind of going through the news today and I found a very interesting rant that was actually something out of the whole Bill O'Reilly, the view walkout thing that I guess that happened today about some disagreement and they walked off set. Meaningless confrontation um, on TV. But what was interesting is a reporter or a journalist from MSNBC um, goes on a rant about kind of motivated by the meaninglessness of this kind of news story essentially and really kind of speaks some truth to power and the motivations and reasoning and what really is the war on, on Islam or what does that mean and it's very interesting because you rarely ever see this kind of frank discussion on any type of national news media and of course it will be ignored but I'm going to put it on this channel and um, I'm going to make more videos about this on my main channel. I'm trying to formulate this in my head and just my attitudes toward why we're fighting and why the po as a nation we just don't seem to care. But anyway, this is just a small snippet of that. It's the it's an entire rant um, and uh, definitely leave a comment um, if you think you disagree or agree with it. Um, I like to hear people's thoughts because I'm trying to kind of formulate my own ideas and uh, it may, it'll make for better videos in the future. So enjoy. Well, I support the women walking off because they didn't feel like it was a debate. I think they felt like they were being bullied by O'Reilly. I support Whoopi and Joy. I mean, for me, I guess what I would say is there's a core issue here, which is there is a small group of well-funded Wahhabi extremists funded by the Saudi Arabian government to whom <laughs> we give money. I really guess, listen, yeah, you invite no, me on the show, yeah, what's going to happen, right. okay? So there is American oil money and American guns to the Saudi Arabian right. government. Those guns, that money to Wahhabi extremist Muslims in Saudi Arabia. The only ones who have ever killed us, them. We are not at war with Islam. We are not at war with Muslims. We are not at war with Afghanistan. We are not at war with Iraq, Iran. It's nonsense. So yes, they've held signs, I hate America. Have you seen the signs we hold? The only people that have ever funded a terrorist attack out of that part of the world on us, on your colleagues and your colleagues and your colleagues, 10 years ago, nine years ago, was this Wahhabi sect and it is an extraordinary failure of our politicians and our media and our anybody else who has an opportunity to communicate information to fail to make that distinction because to fail to make that distinction is to risk a scale of conflict and a scale of disenfranchisement and alienation on this planet that may be convenient for TV ratings and votes but is an abomination for the human beings who will populate this planet and it's a lie. So you have referenced the Wahhabis? To my mind, the most valid point that Bill O'Reilly made, and it is that in the wake of everything that has occurred around the world since September 11th and before September 11th, yes. the coal bombing, yes. the leadership of the Muslim world has remained uniquely silent about what has happened. I mean, you get, yes. you, you get, you get no encyclical from the Muslim world about Because ultimately, think about the dynamic in the Muslim world. In the Muslim world, there are, you have different factions that are trying to retain their power relative to other factions within that community. And there are, that includes factions that do not want to see Saudi strength rise or that don't want to see Iranian strength rise and see Iranian strength as something that can be balanced through other forces. But that's beside the point, which is, in, in my opinion, which is that whether it's leadership in the Middle East or leadership in America, the failure to make the distinction between the Wahhabi sect that is funded through Saudi money and all other Islam, period. Even, I don't care whether it's Islam or I'm angry, saying I hate Americans, you got a sign. Uh, like I said, go to Ground Zero, go to Florida, I'll show you some signs. Are we gonna, we, we, since when are we gonna go to war over a sign? Well, I was just going to say, though, to that argument, you know, you, you could say any group that's trying to protect themselves is always uniquely silent. You could say that about the Catholic Church was mm -hmm. uniquely silent mm -hmm. when it needed to be. My issue with this, we talked about, we talked around this in the last three hours, two of the hours I was awake for. But what's interesting <laughs> is that, to me, it's more about, Dylan, you make that point about ratings, is that it's Bill O'Reilly going on the or view politicians. to talk about this so they can go back to their respective shows and talk about it. And even us, we talk about it. It's interesting television, but it's almost like this unique 
unique sort of ecosphere where we're just feeding each other and nobody, you know, Oprah's going on uh, uh, The Daily Show with Colbert. I mean, it's just us talking about us talking about us. But Meanwhile, there's a real America's, issue, which is, there is the, a real the, the issue, information but, distortion and the fear mongering and the amount of money and the amount of power that can be accumulated in this country and other yes. countries through the distortion and exploitation of religious fear and racial fear in exchange for having decent, honest exchange of real information, which is, you know what, most Muslims don't even care about you. And the vast majority of the ones that don't like you, don't like you from the couch, and there aren't that many of them. And the ones that actually want to kill you, about this many, and it's not because they're Muslim, it's because they've been radicalized, and they have been, the religion has been used as a teaching mechanism as sure as Christianity or any other religion could be, but it is not the fact that they are Muslims that makes them terrorists, it is the fact that they are terrorists that makes them terrorists. And that is a massive distinction that I think has been uniformly uh, not made in this country because I think it strikes to the cognitive dissonance of these huge wars. You're ha if we're not at war with Islam, well then would somebody please tell me why it is we're a few trillion dollars up and we've got a few thousand dead soldiers to fight all these wars in all these Middle Eastern countries? Because I thought we were at war with Islam, which is why we've got all these uh, tanks and, and, and predator drones flying everywhere. If we're just at war with a narrow group of well-funded, well-organized extremists out of Saudi Arabia and in that region, well then can somebody please explain the tough to explain the, the policies in that context? If we're at war with Islam, if we're at war with the Muslims, well then my goodness, I mean, there's, there's there's got to be 10 more countries we've got to go to war with, right? It's, it is an obscene concept, and it's, and it's shameful to me that anybody from the president down doesn't make an extraordinarily uh, strong distinction between those two things.